Hey! It's great to see you. We're outside today on this, well, it's kind of an overcast, maybe a few little dark clouds up there, but it's not real hot. It's a beautiful day. And we wanted to come outside and talk to you about what's coming up this weekend. It's Communion Sunday, first of all, and that's always an exciting time at St. Bethlehem United Methodist Church. The story that we're looking for, looking at this week comes out of Matthew's Gospel, and there's really, we're going to be looking at two different stories. The, the main story in the scripture this week is the feeding story where Jesus multiplies the, 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 the bread. But there's a story before that that's connected to it. In fact, the very beginning of this particular story of the feeding refers back to a story that we need to understand to get the full picture of what's going on in the feeding of the 5,000. The story before it is another feeding scene. It's a scene with, with lots of, of rich, luscious food. It's a party. It's a party that's thrown by a government official. And there's a lot of excess. It's the party where John the Baptist gets murdered. And so we've got that story, a feeding story, and then we've got the feeding story of Jesus feeding those who are in need. The one is full of wealth and all of the people invited are wealthy. The one with Jesus is people who are hungry and in need. We have these two stories, and the question that we're asking looking at these stories is, which one of these two participants in these stories would it look like has the best ability to do good. That's where our story's going. Uh, another thing that I want to talk to you, oh, in, in, in these two services, uh, in, the, um, um, in the traditional story, we're gonna be singing uh, a Charles Wesley song. I always like it when we do Charles Wesley song, good Methodist song. In the uh, modern worship, we're going to uh, see a video clip from the movie Get Smart. One of my one of my fun movies to, to watch. The theme that we're that we're looking at is doing good. I also wanted to to, to mention uh, coming up on Eclipse Day. Look at this field around us here. This is a, a beautiful area, and we're encouraging folks to come and spend the day out here. This will be a front row seat. From sitting here looking back at the church, the, the eclipse will take place right over the top of our building. There's nothing to obstruct your view. And we're encouraging you to, to come. We're, there's gonna be some grilling of hot dogs. There's gonna be um, lots of folks, I hope. But bring, bring your cooler and your, uh, your lawn chairs, a blanket to spread out. Plan to eat and have fun and spend the day watching the eclipse right here on August the 21st. Can't wait to share all of this weekend with you. Can't wait to share the eclipse with you. We'll see you then. Poor guy and his wife, you know, they're out, they're out eating in a restaurant and, and the guy, his face is turning white and he's, you know, he's gasping and he, he, he finally gets out and he tells his wife, he says, I, I think I swallowed a bone. And she said, are you choking? He said, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> hey, we'll see you Sunday. Yeah, I'm not choking, I'm serious. <laughs>